The court hearing of the criminal case against former Army in Defense Minister David Tonoyan, Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces Ardak Davtian, former Deputy Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces Stepan Galsian, arms supplier David Galsian, and several others started Wednesday in Yerevan. The investigation of the criminal case investigated by the National Security Service had found out that several high-ranking officials of the Armed Forces and the Ministry of Defense of Armenia had abused their respective power in 2018 and unlawfully purchased a total of 4,232 obsolete weapons that were stored at the Ministry of Defense. It was also found out that these persons had matched up the technical features of this ammunition with the given type of products stored in the Ministry of Defense and noted false data in them. Nadine Maenza, chair of the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, was photographed with former president of the Kurdistan region of Iraq, Masoud Barzani, in the latter's office and against the backdrop of a map of Greater Armenia and Kurdistan instead of present-day Turkey. This photo has caused a stir in the Turkish press, and Turkish figures see a provocation against Turkey's territorial integrity in this photo. The map in this photo was printed in 1794 in London. The Turkish Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure has announced a start date for flights between Yerevan and Istanbul, Anadolu News Agency reported. Accordingly, the first flight is scheduled for February the 2nd. These flights will be operated three times a week by the Turkish Pegasus airline from the Sabiha Gökçen airport in Istanbul. The Armenian airline Fly One Armenia has also been issued a license to operate three weekly flights. An Azerbaijani attack on Karabakh will mean an attack on Russia. Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh Foreign Minister David Babayan told the press conference Wednesday. He stressed that a large-scale attack on Armenia would mean an attack on the CSTO, and this simply could not go unnoticed. No one can guarantee the complete absence of the possibility of a new war, but now such a possibility is very small, he added. 563 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia as of Wednesday morning, and the total number of these cases has now reached 348,708 in the country. Also, three more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 8,025 cases.